Hi, welcome to our channel Shaha Computer Education Center. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a product price list with image of the item. So first, watch a very short demo of this template. After that, we will learn how to create this product price list template. As you can see in this sheet, we have a place for logo. You can put your company logo here. After that, type your company name, address, and then your main task begins. Here, type your product code, product name, the description of the product, then insert a product image. After that, enter a retail price unit and a bulk price unit. So let's understand by entering a new item. So click here, press tab, a new row added. Type your first code, then type the name of the dress, then type here the description. After that, click here. You can see we got the image open dialog box. So select this one and open. You can see the image entered here. Now type here the retail unit price as this one and then bulk unit price as this one. And here if you click the image, you can see we got the picture of the image you see here if I click this one if I click this one in this way you can get the image of the item in a full screen view so close this one so now we will understand how to create this template but before that I request you to subscribe our channel to support us and Press the bell button so that you can get a regular update from our channel when we upload new Excel automation videos that makes your life easier. So if you are looking for this type of product price list, please hit the like button. So without wasting any more time, let's begin this tutorial. First take a new workbook and save this file as product price list and here select macro enabled workbook and save it now rename this sheet as product price list okay now make a margin here and another margin here and type here logo and type here product price list then type here company name press alter enter then company address then press alter enter then company phone and fax press alter enter website url then press enter select this two cell and merge it you can increase this size and press double click here now select from C to G and merge it okay now you can increase this cell okay make it left alignment and here we will put a banner so before that let's format this so select this cell go to home and give a background color this one and select a font this one okay and increase the font size okay 
and here also change the background color select a font then increase the font size make it left alignment okay increase this height make them center middle okay now here you can select this and make it little bigger okay now we will type here product code then product name then description then product image then a retail unit price and then bulk unit price now make them wrap text and increase the size so here we'll put the product name then product description then product image and then unit okay now make it middle okay now select this to cell and go to insert and click on table my table as header okay now from here we will select a table style this one okay now you can increase this size more okay and here we will put our banner so go to insert illustration picture now from here select the banner and insert now fit this banner according to your need okay now we will enter here the product name suppose here dr1 then product name dress one then product description we have to type the product description here now here we have to put the product image so for that we will select from the fifth row hold the shift and control key and press down arrow and right click on any row and click on row height and type here 70 okay and select control a and make it center and middle and here you have to make it a wrap text okay now here you can put our retail unit price suppose 75 and here maybe 70 and you can select this two and give it a currency format in this way now our another task is when we click on this cell we'll get a open dialog box where we will select the image of the product and that image will be inserted here with a link so that when you click on that image that image will open in a full screen mode so for that we have to create a vva macro press alter f11 now go to insert and click on module here we have to type a code for inserting the picture and another code for the link so that when you click on image the image will open in a full screen mode so we will copy the code from our previous file and 
test it here now we will understand how this code works so let's see here sub insert peak on error resume next so on error resume next means if this macro get any error it will move to the next line it will ignore the error then we declared here some variables that is p file as string p file name as variant p as object t as double l as double h as double w as double m as double and s h p s shapes and here p file equal to application dot get open file name so application dot get open file name will give us the open dialog box so with the help of this open dialog box we can select the image which we want to insert in the cell and our file types will be pick file within bracket star dot jpg semicolon star dot bmp semicolon star dot png bracket close comma again star dot jpg semicolon star dot bmp semicolon star dot png so we can insert these three types of images now p file name with the help of this we will get the total file path of that selected image you can see here if i press f8 p file so when i click on p file and select on address sorry let cancel it uh, let's give here a stopper so now press f8 now we selected this image open so here we got p file equal to this total path and the file name that is trace1.png and from this path we want to extract this file name so that's why we have given p file name equal to mid p file comma instrrev dot sorry bracket p file comma within quotation slash bracket close plus one so this code will help us to get this name so press f8 you can see p file equal to dress one dot png now set p equal to active sheet dot pictures dot insert p file that means this line will help us to insert the picture in the active sheet and the path of the file will be p file so here we got the p file path so if i press f8 if we go here you can see we got the picture of the item now with active cell so our active cell is this one t equal to dot top l equal to dot left h equal to dot offset dot rows dot count comma zero dot top minus top this line will give us the top position of the one row down of the selected cell and this will give us the top position of the selected cell so this will be greater than this one so this minus this will give us the total height of the cell the same way this will give us the width of the cell so press f8 t equal to 166.5 l equal to 269.25 height equal to 69.75 and width equal to 83.25 and now end width so we got the active cells top position left position height and width now if p file equal to false that means when we do not select any image file then p file becomes blank that's why it's good if p file is false then exit the sub 
so if we do not select any image so it will exit the sub nothing will happen then we will set the height of the picture so p dot top equal to t so t is this one then p dot height equal to h so this one is the height so press f8 so here you can see the actual height and width of the image then press this one top then height now you can see it fits the image in the cell but we have to make it in the center so for that we declared m equal to active cell dot width divided by 2 minus picture dot width divided by 2 so m value becomes 13.83339 like this way and p dot left equal to l this left position plus m press this one you can see it got into the middle now p dot on action open pick file that means with the help of this line we give a link to this macro so now here we do not have any link we can get here the arrow with four arrows but as we pass this line and go here you can see we got hand arrow that means the link has been added to this picture then press f8 to answer so now go to the file control select this file delete here and now if i click here nothing happens why because we have to trigger this cell that is when we select this cell it will trigger the insert picture macro so for that go to visual basic then double click on sheet 2 and select here worksheet and here selection change and within these two line we will paste a code so you have to type if selection dot count greater than one then exit sub that means if we select more than one cell then it will exit this macro then if not intersect target that means our target cell is this one so if the target is within the range of the body of the table within the column 4 so here we have type active sheet dot list object table 1 this is our table 1 you can see here design table 1 so dot list column 4 so this is column 4 dot data body range so this is our body range and this is our header range so if we click on header nothing will happen if we click on the body range then call insert pick then it will call our this insert pick so you have to type this code now go to module okay then here we have another code that is open peak that means when we click on the picture here then it will open up in a full screen mode so for that we have to do this code so deem p name as variant p path as string and shp as shape p name equal to application dot caller so before i have forgot to say one thing that is here p dot name equal to p file name so here we got the p file name that is the from the path of this file we got the files name and that files name is set to p dot name that is when we insert the picture in the excel that picture is renamed with the name we got from here and here with the application dot caller it will give us the name of this picture so the name of the picture we got here dress one so p, p name become dress one then set 
shp equal to active sheet dot save p name so here p name become dress one so we set the shape as that picture then p path equal to this workbook dot path so we have kept all this picture in a folder and the folder is kept where the file is saved so that's why we have given the path of the picture is this workbook dot path and here we got the dress folder that is within quotation backslash trace backslash double quotation close and shape shp dot name so here we'll get dress one so this became the total path so after that cell run dll 32.exe so this cell function will open the picture in a full screen and path here p path so p path is this one so the cell run dll 32.exe will open this image path in a full screen mode so let's see how it works click here you can see it opens now go to the image folder yes select this image and open now if we click here we can see this is opened so in this way you can create this product price list and insert the image with the help of VBA and also open this image in a full screen mode so I hope you have understood this tutorial very well but still if you have any problem regarding this tutorial you can write me in the comment section I will surely help you out so if you like this video please hit the like button and do subscribe our channel to support us thanks for watching the video till the end see you soon in the next tutorial